Mastodons were prehistoric relatives of today's elephants. Like their modern cousins, mastodons had tusks, flappy ears, and a long nose. Both animals, as well as the woolly mammoth, are members of the order Proboscidea, a name that comes from the Greek word proboscis, which means nose. Before we get started, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications if you enjoy prehistoric creatures. So you can stay up to date on all of our latest content and encourage our team to try to update the most recent video. The difference between mastodons and mammoths. Mastodons and woolly mammoths both look like ancient elephants, but they are separate species. One big difference between them is when they appeared on Earth. Mammoths appeared about 5.1 million years ago in Africa. Mastodons, on the other hand, appeared about 27 million to 30 million years ago, primarily in North and Central America. There are several other differences. Mastodons were slightly smaller than mammoths. Though they are both herbivores, they ate differently. Mastodons had blunt, cone-shaped molars that would crush vegetation, while mammoths had ridged molars that cut plants, much like today's elephants. Appearance Unlike modern elephants, mastodons had much smaller ears and foreheads and were covered in a thick layer of brown hair. Hairs on their coats could grow up to 35 inches and the male's tusks grew to about 8 feet. Females did not have tusks. From foot to shoulder, mastodons were between 8 to 10 feet. They weighed between 4 to 6 tons. That isn't much different from their modern counterparts. Modern elephants weigh 3 to 7 tons and range from 5 to 14 feet tall. Habitat Though mastodons appeared primarily in North and Central America, they eventually spread all over the world, in every continent, except for Antarctica and Australia. They typically inhabited spruce woodlands around valleys and swamps. Extinction Mastodons went extinct around 10,000 years ago. There are many theories as to why. Most of these theories boil down to climate change and human hunting. Some scientists think that the Earth warmed up from the Ice Age too quickly for the mastodon to adapt, or that humans hunted them to extinction. Others, like researchers Bruce Rothschild of the Northeastern Ohio University's College of Medicine and Richard Laub of the Buffalo Museum of Science in New York, have a different theory. They found that 52% of the 113 mastodons they studied had signs of tuberculosis. This led the researchers to think that a tuberculosis pandemic contributed to their extinction. It is likely that the disease didn't kill off the animals directly, but made them weak. Coupled with the coming out of the Ice Age and fighting off humans, the species just couldn't survive. Fossil Discoveries The first mastodon fossils were found in 1705, when a large tooth and bone fragments were found in the Hudson River Valley in New York. Not long after, in 1807, Thomas Jefferson personally financed an expedition that was by led William Clark to excavate mastodon and mammoth fossils from the Big Bone Lick site in Kentucky. There have been many mastodon fossil discoveries in the past few hundred years. Sometimes, they are found in unusual places. For example, on October 16, 1963, Marshall Herb was using a dragline to excavate a pond and found fossils that came to be known as the Perry Mastodon. In another instance in 2016, a sinkhole in Florida's Oscilla River was declared an archaeological goldmine after an ancient human tool and mastodon bones are found inside.